Hey guys, TechnoMinger with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to fix your phone if apps are freezing or quitting unexpectedly or if you're having glitches on your iPhone. In this video, we're going to show you guys some of the general tips and trips to help you fix that issue in this video. First thing first, before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews, and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for one of the newer iPhones, make sure you guys check out the link in the description section where there's some great deals you can find on some of the newer iPhones if it's time for you to upgrade or looking to get one of the newer phones. So let's talk about your apps freezing or quitting or just not working as well. So what happens is over time when your phone is running for a long time or your phone just isn't responding and such, there's a couple of things you can do. First thing if an app is frozen or you can't use a touch screen is simply lock and unlock your phone using the physical button and hopefully that clears up any glitch. If not, next thing you wanna do is actually close out the apps that are, that are giving you trouble. To do that, simply on a newer iPhones that with all touch screen, you're gonna slide you, your finger up or if you have a home button try to click on the home button double tap it and you'll see all the apps that are open go ahead and start closing all the apps because sometimes if you have a lot of apps running in the background for a very long time it might just overload the phone and it needs a simple closing out the apps and after you have done that uh, you want to make sure you go into settings here and once you're in settings you're going to go to general software update you're going to make sure you have the latest software updates what happens is each time Apple updates the software, new fixes are released for issues that could potentially impact your iPhone. Make sure you download and install the latest one. And if you don't have the latest one, highly recommend to do the latest one. You'll see your iPhone iOS is up to date if you have the latest one. Moving on, the next thing you want to do is simply do a, a restart of your phone. And on the newer iPhones with the side button here that all screen, is simply you're going to hold the side button and the volume up button at the same time. Keep on holding till you see that slide to power off and go ahead and slide it off. And just give it maybe 10-15 seconds to fully shut it down. Or if you have older phones that are before with the home button, you can shut it down by simply holding the uh, power button on and make sure you, know, you go through the full setup to turn it off and then to turn it back on we're simply going to hold just the side button here keep on holding it till you see the apple logo that means the phone is rebooting and hopefully this solves your problem if not we're going to show you guys the next thing to do after uh doing a restart is doing a force restart or a force reset uh, this will not delete all of your data what this will do is make sure the memory on the phone is cleared out and it's good to go and to simply do that what you're going to do is simply go ahead quickly press and release the volume up and then the volume down and then hold the side button here keep on holding a side button as you can see here we're not going to slide to power on this time because this is a full reset it will go make the screen all black and once it's a block keep on holding the side button don't let it go until you see the Apple logo and then let that side button go and then wait till it goes back to the home screen again and hopefully these two restarts, the regular restart and a full reset of it helps your phone touch screen work again. And uh, the next thing you want to do is simply if that isn't working for you is actually do a full restore and backup so to do that you're going to connect it to iTunes or do iCloud backup and then go into your settings here and once you have backed it up either using iCloud or iTunes is go ahead and reset your phone with this option this will erase everything so before you even proceed with this method make sure you have iTunes to back it up and do that and in that video we're going to show you guys how to do that in another video make sure that you guys check out the video that will be posted in the description section to do that full uh, backup and restore that method does take a little bit longer but it is more crucial to do that if your phone still ha has issues where apps are freezing or quitting unexpectedly 
And lastly, if that doesn't fix it, you're still having all these issues, is simply take it to an authorized Apple Service Center or the Apple Store to have them take a look at it and run a diagnostic to see if it's a hardware issue that something you can't do without having that hardware replaced. So hopefully these tips and tricks help you guys figure out if your app are freezing and apps are quitting or just having a lot of glitches with your phone. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.